What's up everyone? This is Dennis Bautista and I'm not gonna show my face, it's, I am in my laptop. And today I'm going to show you how to, or what's the basics on Lightroom, how to import anything like that. I know it's a basic, if you're good, you can skip this video because it's not really for you, but it's for beginners. And yeah, I'll start from uploading files first. So, for everything, uh, there's a, like, a lot of uh, features here. And I'll start from importing photos. How to import a photo? And I'll take this area. This, uh, and have to pick that one. And I have to allow your device to capture it. And so I have a lot of pictures here, but I'm not going to use it. I'll do the raw file. I have this uh, kitty kitty cat. importing just wait for a minute and yeah it's here now it's okay so this is the basic tutorials for Lightroom um, what are the basics on Lightroom so we'll do the basics now and this is the uh, area of editing but a little far from all of them it's upgrade now just like that this is for beginners you can just install it okay and now let's do the editing and i think i cannot edit because ah i'm sorry guys but i cannot edit this one because of the upgrade because i cannot edit a light a raw file on lightroom i just need an edit like a photo from a photo i mean a photo from a phone because i cannot edit a photo a raw photo here because it's not upgraded into the premium version of the lightroom so uh, let me just get some photos first. So uh, yeah, I'm back with the. I uh, just have the photo now. It's a. Uh, it's not a raw file because I exported it as a JPEG from Photoshop. And now I think yeah, I can edit it now since it's not a raw file anymore. And let's start from the very basic. The you can just auto adjust this one, but yeah, you can see that. Uh, to check your uh, before and after, uh, long press it so you can see the before, and you have to release it so you can see the after. But I'm not going to use that because we're going to the exact. Uh, I mean, the very basic one. Oh, we start from the very best basic one. So set first. So this is the basic now. And you have to study or you have to do ex your ex your own experimentation on the uh, not not here. It's the it's the profile. So you don't have to do the profile because you're going to use your own um, like your own percent. You're creating your own percent. So. Yeah, you can see, you can hear my dog and my puppy, yeah. They're my puppies, yes. <laughs> and let's start from the light. The light is uh, like, you know, a very basic light. Exposure, you can remove that exposure. The contrast and it will give, give you like a very uh, like black and white, I mean, more dark and more white photo. like. Uh, give you a more uh, how can I say that v vibrant is that vibrant it's contrasted maybe you know that so I'm not going to say that anymore I'm going to explain it to remove that one yeah so you can see the difference between the the zero contra uh, negative 100 into the 100% um, contrast and you can see the difference right um, the the color will be like Vibrant, it's not the vibrant, but it will be, the black it will be beca become more black, and the white will be whiter like that. Or yeah, sorry for my explanation and for my uh, I didn't prepare for this one. <laughs> so the highlights, you can remove the highlights. You can see before and the after. This is the highlights. You can see the highlights here. This is the highlights area. Uh, I cannot sorry maybe because I just hide the cursor and. Yeah, I'm editing the new stuff because I don't have a phone to edit it. So I'm just teaching you here. I hope you you learn you learn something. And yeah, this is the highlights, the highlights, and the shadows. The shadows is the 
the the black or the shadows the shadow area will be removed uh make it darker or you want to have the lighter shadows and it will be like you know it's uh it's good for night photography like that we have the shadows but yeah just giving you the example or what what's the purpose of the, the white also it's like for the white area yeah and you, if you don't want to touch the contrast you have the white area the white area if you have that one or the black area too same with that if you don't like to adjust on the contrast you can do it here it's like like that so and the the light um i can say that uh it depends on what what kind of what kind of percent that you want to achieve if you want a moody one or a vibrant or anything like at the most common is the deal in orange or but you can you can have a deal in orange only an animal so i'm going to teach you the maybe the basic one and i'll do the uh editing later after the explanation so this is the exposure from the light and go down the color the color is the uh you can see the black and white that that yes and this is the temperature uh if you want the more white uh, i mean the temperature of a bluish one like you want a kind of dark uh, i mean how can i say that a fluorescent daylight or maybe like that and if you want to have a uh, daylight like that uh yeah daylight and it's a daylight it's a yellowish you want daylight and if you want like a uh, night light like that if you want yeah you can achieve that and do to some black and white style or do the adjustment of exposure and you'll achieve the you can change it into a night portrait like that so the tint um uh, it's just a green and a violet if you have do you know how to adjust it well you can achieve what you want and just to have some tips if you are editing a photo uh don't like don't edit it too much like don't edit it with too much colors and just like that and also the vibrance the vibrance will give you the higher color i uh, like it brings more color to your photo same like that and will be black and white what's the difference of the vibrance and saturation so the saturation is the like uh the color the color yeah it's the color itself and if you want to be saturated they're uh, they're just like the same but if you touch the vibrance it's, it's like a uh, separation uh yeah it's if you have the saturation like that and then remove the vibrance it's not like you remove all the colors right yeah, even like that so you can see the difference now that saturation if you have the high saturation and remove the vibrance you, you cannot remove all the colors like that and it's like uh on photoshop uh, i can call this um, linear light so you can change the opacity in the field value and yes and if you're going to vibrance it you add vibrance but if you remove the saturation it will be black and white so there's a difference within the vibrance and the saturation and we're done with that so if you want to have more color correction if you want the black uh, if you want the orange to become yellow you can click the uh color wheel here uh side of the black and white logo here so you can see the bottom this is the color mix if you want the the red to become violet like that but there's no uh there's no violet here so you can see the changes that's the changes here this may be on the orange area because the eyes and the the ears so you can change that one and you have what is the saturation here so if ever you want to have a specific such uh do you want a color to do you want a specific color to to glow or to make it more brighter or colorful you have to do the saturation here uh depend depend uh, i mean depends on what you want so uh if you want the saturation here you can add it here and you don't need to touch the saturation the vibrance in the upper side and also the luminance the luminance is um how can i say this the luminance is the light and the dark color so if you want the orange to become 
lighter, you can adjust it like that. But if you want to have the darker, you can do it like that. But uh, be careful on doing that because uh, there's a lot of images that it works about uh, especially the JPEG files. You can do it like in your row files because there's a problem. So I'm just teaching you the basics yeah. The basic the basic one. Yeah, what? Sorry. So we're done with the color mixing. It, this is the color mix uh the color what's this? Color mix, so the target adjustment to the top and drag the image to change the coloration near your fingertips. So if you want to uh to specify uh, specify the color or the area that you want to change, you can drag this one and then do it like that. The luminance will go dark, same like that. So this is just simple. So I'm not going to just the first thing I will reset it. And so we're going to the bottom now, so let's hide this one. We're done with the light and the color, and let's do the effect. The effect is now it's updated because, like 2017 or 2018, there's no texture here, it's just a clarity delays in pigments, and there's not a texture. The texture, what's the depend of texture and clarity? Clarity it will be, uh, you will have a more vivid or HDR effect photo, like that. Yeah, but be careful on using the, the clarity. Uh, but in the texture, you can have texture, but it's not too much uh, HDR, same like that. So there's a difference with the clarity and the uh, texture. And now the dehaze is like a vignette, a vignette photo like that. I don't, know. I don't know what. But yeah. So if you have the dehaze, is that uh, I mean, the, the vignette is different from the dehaze. Mm, I can say that it. It will like create a uh, definite. Um, you're going to have this kind of uh, circle area, and that's it. So you can just adjust it like that. But that's the problem with definite and the haze. The haze. Um, if you're going to have a darker area, like um, the center, or I mean, if you have, if you want to have the de haze in the area, like if you want to have the colors in the uh the edges and you can use the dehaze and you will see what's happening like that and remove that one to so, uh, the haze yeah I think it's I can explain the dehaze but maybe you do the shit <laughs> so the net you know that and yeah the grain amount this is the grain if you have like uh, some noise or just a noise for if a photo is a noise, but I don't know what is the meaning in Photoshop. So the details also the color the, there's a noise reduction, it's an updated one. There's a noise reduction because it's not like it's not on the to the eighteen and seventeen. But the noise reduction is if you are using um if you have po a night portrait and there's a lot of noise, there's a black, 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 uh, black white white noise like that. You, you can use it and to remove that you you will use the noise reduction here and you remove the noise and also the color noise reduction is if your um, image is like a vibe too bright vibrant and it's like a, a dirty photo you can use the color noise reduction and it will adjust it you can adjust the detail the smoothness of the noise reduction the optics um, optics is the remove chromatic aberration there's a RGB I mean like there's a aberration yeah chromatic aberration if you can see the um, red green blue uh, you can see it if you were going to the, uh, you can have the photo if you are capturing a um, like against the light photo you will get a chromatic aberration so if you want to remove that use the remove chromatic aberration and we will fix that one. and enable lens correction so like that you can, you can adjust this one because uh, it's, it's very updated it's not yet like last time i checked this one the light one is not like this one well yeah it's not like this kind of updated so yeah that's the basic and also what's the purpose of the distortion in this net um for me, they're just the same, but it's very um, uh, professional, I think. I don't know. <laughs> so, 
So, this is a lens net. It's just for the uh, profile correction, like that. So, if you want to remove that, see what's happening in the photo. You can see. If you use the end ambulance correction, we just like fix the photo, the size, or mainly the fish eye. I think it's a fish eye without the end ambulance correction. But if you take this one, you will get a, like, a flat in the photo. Yeah. The geometry. So I think I cannot use the geometry right now because it, just, it, just, it needs to be upgraded. So I'm not going to teach you that. This is a basic one. So how can I do this one? So I want to achieve a, a moody kind of look. And also, yeah, I forgot to mention from the light. There's a, uh, what's this? This is the curves. The curves, does, um, there's a lot of curves, yeah. The RGB curves, and I think there's an RGB curves here, but let me check this one first because it should have RGB. This is the curve like that because this ah uh, the the very like common curve is the S curve. When you do the S curve, you have the contrast that you don't need to change here in this area. The contrast here you don't need to change it because if you know how to use the, the curves, and you'll be a better editor. As like my, I am um, keep on practicing RGB curves so I can achieve more kind of, I don't know, just give you some advice about that. That if you use a curves and it's better, if you, you know how to handle curves and you have a better photo without touching the contrast the highlights and nothing like that. So, I am checking where is the RGB curves because I, I like to have the RGB curves here but I don't, I don't think it's here so I just stay in here so we'll just do the um yeah RGB curves is like uh you can separate the red the green and the blue color from the image because the image is composed composed of red green blue and yeah that's the composition of the, the image so if you are going to achieve like you don't you need to remove the green other green and you have to hide it you can just adjust it here like this one if the highlights is green uh, if the the light area is green you can remove it by dragging this area to the light i mean the to down so you can what sorry for that and yeah that's the basic one so what yeah it's too deep for maybe for beginners to adjust on the rgb curve so i'm going to teach you how to adjust it there. or maybe i'll be working on here since i'm then explaining what is lightroom oh, yeah did i explain that oh yeah it's here yeah it's here the rgb curves yeah i did it's not here so it's here the rgb curve so i'm going to teach you maybe you do the i'll do the editing now on the rgb curves but first i'm going to uh, I'm going to start with the curves first without touching the RG, uh, I mean the red green blue. So, uh, uh, what you, what you want to achieve? So I'm going to achieve a moody kind of look for this. Uh, it's not a teal or anything. It's just a moody for animals. So I'll do the highlights first. So I'm going to make it down like that. You can see the difference now. It's too much. I do like that. And I think it's done. <laughs> I like this color. I like the I like the curves or the area. Kind of smoothie. You see what's happening? Do you see? Do you do you see what's happening here? Do you see what's happening in this image? And so uh, let's check the before and use the after. And let's continue. We'll do the uh, curves now. Uh, I'm in the red curve, so if you want to remove what, what do you want to remove here? Maybe I'll just remove the green area. You want to remove the green area? Let's see. Yeah, so just, uh, this is, if you're going down, it will become magenta, I think, and it will become green if you're going to go up. So I just slowly do the curves here so you can see it based on my taste. So I'm, I'm doing it based on my if you're going to have the blue down, you will achieve a yellowish color. Like that. So, I think I love the color of this one. Uh, and I have more to 
orange and yellow. I'll bring more yellow here. The image. And uh, add some blue. Okay. And I think I'm good with this one. With the red. Let's look at the red one. Uh, you, can, you can just touch it. Maybe you can just leave it. But if you want more, I'll like, add more. But I don't like to add more. I don't want to ruin the image. I mean, I don't like. I don't want to ruin my editing now. So I'm just checking. I think it's done. I love the color before and the after. And let's do some adjustment exposure. We can do that here. Do the exposure so it will become moody one. And I'm doing it now. And add some highlights, shadows. This is the shadows you can see. Right now. So I'm not going to use that. The whites, you see. But if you're going to use the contrast, in it, you're going to turn it so. But I'm not going to use the contrast. I'm just going to adjust here the whites and the blacks. And I think I'm done with that. The colors, I'm not going to adjust the color wheel. I'm going to adjust here the vibrance to so give you more color. But I'm not going to give this kind of look because I want a moody, not a like a vibrant, maybe a color mood. I want a moody one, so I'm not going to touch it now. Maybe I'll touch the color wheel and remove the yellow. Let's remove the yellow here. Or I don't like to remove it because I think it's worse. So I'm not going to remove the yellow. Or maybe, yes, like that. But I'm not going to remove the yellow because it's, it's what I want from the curves um, yeah and we're done with that effects uh, what the effects um, you can do the texture clarity and I'm not going to do the uh, to net I'm just going to do the haze so this is the before this is the after and I think you learn from this tutorial but yeah if you want to practice with this image you can just I just upload it Maybe in the drive and you can download this image. I just get it from my website. It's a Pixabay. I think yeah, this is a free photo footages for you to practice your editing. And yeah, this is the before. And I keep on telling you that this is the before and this is the after. If you know how to edit like on the curves, you'll be more uh, like accurate on your editing. So I think it's I'm done here. I'm, I did my part teaching you the basics. And I think that's enough. Maybe if you have some questions, you can comment it down below or anything. Maybe message me on Facebook, you guys spotted. That's my page. And I'm not going to have some more editing like pop the you guys spotted here like that. But it's just a basic. So uh, I'm done with editing. It's like I need to sleep now. <laughs> so I just give you this uh, basic. So I think it's done. And I'm going to give you another story though, maybe on Sunday, my Sunday or I don't know but I'm just going to upload every Sunday for the, yeah, I think every Sunday. So that's enough for today. Tonight. So actually tonight because it's not here. So goodbye everyone. Dennis Bautista giving you this kind of effect. Maybe peace out. Peace out. Bye.